international arrest warrant applications against Benjamin Netanyahu and also the leader of Hamas, put up the picture for mass. This is going to be an interesting dynamic as it plays out on the main stage of international and our domestic politics. It impacts both with millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Here's the announcement from the International Criminal Court prosecutors. I can also confirm today that I have reasonable grounds to believe on the basis of evidence collected and examined by my office that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Minister of Defense Yoav Gallant bear criminal responsibility for the following international crimes committed on the territory of the state of Palestine from at least the 8th of October, 2023. The crimes include starvation of civilians as a method of warfare, willfully causing great suffering, serious injury to body or health or cruel treatment, willful killing or murder, and intentionally directing attacks against a civilian population as well as crimes against humanity of extermination and or murder, persecution, and allegations of crimes of committing other inhumane acts. It's alleged that these crimes were committed in the context of the ongoing armed conflict and as part of a widespread and systematic attack against the civilian population of Gaza pursuant to a state policy. Unfortunately, these crimes continue to this day. My office submits that these individuals, through a common plan, have systematically deprived the civilian population of Gaza of objects indispensable to human survival. We have reached that conclusion based upon interviews with survivors, many eyewitnesses, experts from satellite imagery, Statements from Israeli officials, including the two individuals subject to the present application, as well as based upon several hundred authenticated videos, photographs, and audio recordings, many of which were taken and shared by victims and eyewitnesses themselves. The evidence is overwhelming, corroborated by multiple entities, including those who are well, targets of the warrant itself. Put it up before mass. I'm going to give you some background and foreground. So the prosecutor at the ICC, the International Criminal Court, is seeking arrest warrants for top officials from Hamas and Israel. All right. Figures on charges of war crimes, crimes against humanity. If approved by a panel of judges, the arrest warrants will be, will be issued for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his defense minister. Warrants are also being sought for three top officials with Hamas. You have multiple officials who will have arrest warrants very soon. Now, how would this affect Netanyahu or Hamas leaders? The decision to seek warrants does not immediately mean the individual is guilty. But it is the first step in a process that could lead to a lengthy trial. Netanyahu has been on trial before. If the court finds sufficient evidence of crimes, it can summon the suspect to appear voluntarily. The court can also issue an actionable arrest warrant relying on member countries to make the arrest and transfer of the suspect to the ICC. Now, here's where it gets complex, nuanced, and political, okay? So, if the suspect appears, this is after the process, if the suspect appears before the court, a pretrial takes place in which the court decides if there is enough evidence for the case to go to trial. Then there is a trial before three international criminal court judges in which the prosecution 
must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the individual is guilty of the crimes. Once a verdict passes, the charged individual may be sentenced up to 30 years in prison. Under exceptional circumstances, a life sentence can also be given. The court says the ICC has so far issued arrest warrants against 42 people, 21 of whom have been detained with the help of member states. The immediate problem for Israel officials under any ICC arrest warrant would be that the court's 124 member states will be under a legal obligation to arrest such officials if they travel to any of those 124 countries. Now, naturally, Israel does not come under or recognize the authority of the ICC. America does not recognize the authority of the ICC either. But there are many countries that Israel does business with and has connection to that will recognize it. And under the rule as established, they would have no choice but to effect an arrest if any of the individuals who are named. If the warrant goes through the judicial panel are in their country. But let's come out of the political process inside of the ICC and understand what's happening now. You have an independent court of competent jurisdiction of some of the most profound, prolific legal scholars on the planet. They have looked at evidence, provided opportunity for investigation, interview and rebuttal. And they have concluded that there's enough evidence here to say to a sitting world leader, you have committed crimes against humanity. So that means that all of the college students were protesting genocide happening in Gaza were right. That means that the individuals who have been called anti this and anti that for simply standing up for humanitarianism, they were right. That means that Netanyahu and his public relations machine we're wrong. The lies did not work. But I want to take you to the first casualty of war. Truth. Truth is always the first casualty of war. How did Netanyahu plan to kill truth? Remember, he ordered every reporter to leave or die. That's how. All right, Jackson, hell of a thing, hell of a development. What say you? Well, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that unless Netanyahu is actually arrested, he's not going to feel like he will be. Um, Because at the end of the day, he's backed and protected uh, not only by many powerful countries, but especially us, the most powerful. Right. Um, And it's pretty clear that uh, still to this point, the American government is behind not just Israel, but the narrative that Israel's trying to push. But the reason that it's not selling is because the Palestinians are so clearly outgunned, uh, yep. so clearly outresourced. It's not a situation where you're dealing with a story that's ambiguous. It's just not. Um, and this will continue to be a problem for the Biden administration, but for the world over. So I think, again, at the end of the day, Netanyahu is as bold as he is because he's been pushed and encouraged to be that bold. Um, so, you know, are they actually going to arrest him until they do it? Then. You know, make, this is just figurative. Yeah, well, we shall see. Yeah. We shall see. Um, naturally, updates will come um, this week.